Today I'm going to be teaching you guys an any card at any number effect that has a special twist that I bet you've never seen before. So let's get straight into the video. Alright, so we're going to start off the trick by having the spectator call stop whenever they like. Let's say they say stop right about here. We're going to take a look at the card, the two of spades. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and just put their card back in the center of the deck. And what we're going to do for this trick is go ahead and give the deck a good old shuffle just to make sure the cards are completely mixed up and there's no way that I can get to your card. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to have you name any number 1 through 52. So let's say they say 12. This is a free choice. It can be any number. Now, typically what a magician would do is deal off 12 cards from the top and the 12th card is their card. I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm actually going to deal off the bottom. So if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, now, if we take a look at the 12th card, it just happens to be the 2 of spades, your card. Now the crazy thing about this trick is that not only did you just pick any card in the deck, and then you named any number, and it was at that number in the deck. But actually, it's the only card you could have possibly picked in the deck, because all the cards are blank, besides your card, the two of spades. So let's get straight into the trick. Alright guys, so that was the trick. I just want to start off by saying you do not need a blank deck at the end, just for that special kick at the end. You don't need that. You can perform this with just a normal deck of cards if you want to. But I think the blank deck of cards at the end just really gives an extra kick to the trick. Now, if you do not have a blank deck, you can go pick one up on Amazon for around five to six bucks. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can get yourself one. But if you already have one, perfect. If you don't want to buy one, like I said, I'll teach you guys how to do it without a blank deck. But right now, let's go into with a blank deck. So first off, you just need one random card that isn't blank, and it doesn't matter what the card is at all. But what you're going to do is just put the card on top, and all you're going to do is just force this card. Now, it doesn't matter what force you use, but the thing is, you will want to be able to take it out of the deck um, so that you can control it to the bottom. It doesn't really matter, but you're going to need to control the card to the bottom. So the force I used in the um, performance was just a riffle force. So you're going to... So here's, I'll show you guys what to do. So I'll have the card face up so that you can see what's going on. You're simply going to cut the deck at about half, and then you're simply just going to get a pinky break under that card. Now what you're going to do is use your thumb to push down so that they can't really see the break, and then you're going to cover it with your fingers like this. Now all you're going to do is ask them to tell you when to stop, and then you're just going to riffle your thumb down the middle. does not matter where they say stop. Well, let's say they say stop just right here. Now what you're going to want to do is simply just put your finger here, close up the packet, close up everything, and then just pick up from this break, and then come forward. So it will... It will look pretty smooth when you're actually performing it. Obviously, that was in slow motion. But so we riffle down the side, put our finger in, close everything up, and then bring it out, and then the two of spades. So it will take a bit of practice. You're definitely going to want to practice this if you've never done it before. But that is the, the basics of the force. So once we, once we do our riffle force, we're going to get the card, so the two of spades, and what we're going to want to do is control it to the bottom, like I said in the beginning. Now, what I did in the performance was I just simply just cold the card to the bottom. So you have the card here, and then you just push it out a bit, go over top, and then what's happening is I'm just using my other fingers to pull this back, and then I'm spreading the cards, and then it's at the bottom. Now, like I said, you can use any control to get this to the bottom. doesn't matter, but that's just a simple way to do that. You, again, will need to practice that movement. It took me a bit to learn how to do that very smoothly. But like I said, just simply push the card a bit forward, cover it, and then just use these fingers here with your other hand to just pull this back. And then use your thumb to push the rest of the cards up and simply just close everything up, leaving that card on the bottom. Now, 
once we're here, everything's pretty easy. There's just one more movement you're going to need to do, which is the deal on the bottom. Now, again, you can say what I said in the performance that usually magicians will deal uh, from the top, but we're going to deal from the bottom. I actually like that because it kind of just explains why you're dealing from the bottom, because otherwise it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But if you say, you know, typically magicians deal from the top, but I want to change it up and deal from the bottom. That makes more sense. You ask them what number, 1 through 52, again, it can be any number, does not matter what it is. So let's say they say 12, just like they did in the performance. Now what you're going to do for this is when you deal off the bottom, what you're going to do is hold the deck like this. You're going to use these two fingers here, your, um, your ring finger and your pinky, to simply just pull this bottom card back a bit. And now that's all this is, and then simply when you deal, you simply just grab right here. So you simply just grab right there and start dealing like this, obviously like this, but that's literally the entire movement. It's very easy, and this is a reason why I like this version of the Aiken. There's a lot of times you have to do a second deal for a normal Aiken, and it's just it can be it can take a lot of time to learn how to do that, and it's a much more complicated movement or slight that people have to learn. So if you're a beginner, this is a super great trick because this deal from the bottom, um, I, I can't remember the name of it, but um, I read it in a book, Erdenace at the Card Table, um, or whatever the book is called. I can't, I can't remember it. I'll link that in the description too if you want to read that. But you simply just pull this bottom card down, and then, like I said, you deal these cards. So once you get to 11, let's say 11, and then on the 12th one, all you do is just grab that actual card and just set it down. And then now you have that card, you can reveal it, and then, of course, the entire deck is blank. You can reveal that however you want to. Um, it's just a neat little trick. Now, if you want to do this without the blank deck, it's really the same thing, except it's going to be easier um, because you're not going to need to force a card. You won't need to force a card or anything like that, which is pretty nice. So, simply just have them pick any card they'd like. But So, we'll just use this card, for instance. And then you can use any card control you'd like to get it to the bottom. So, you can do one of these, where you show them the card, and then push the card in, and then it's on the bottom. You can do one of those. Um, there's a lot of ways to control a card to the bottom. You can just look them up on YouTube if you really want to know. But you can also just do the same one I showed you earlier. And then, yeah, you simply just do the same deal. It's the same exact trick. All you do is you just don't force the card in the beginning because it's just unnecessary. But it just doesn't add as much of a powerful kick at the end with the blank deck. But you guys can choose either way. Um, I prefer the blank deck, like I said, but you can do it either way. Um, but that's it for the trick. Uh, I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you guys want more, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.